Reciprocating air compressors. Reciprocating air compressors are positive displacement type of air compressors. There are piston and diaphragm type, pan type, gear type, screw type compressors were available. The principal operations is same but according to stages the delivery pressure is different in each compressor. A reciprocating air compressor consists of a piston which is enclosed within a cylinder and equipped with suction and discharge valve. The piston receives power from electric motor or IC engine. The compression of air is done by first drawing a volume of air into the cylinder through suction valve during the suction stroke of piston and then compressed and discharged through delivery valve during delivery stroke. There are two types of reciprocating air compressors. One is single stage reciprocating air compressor and another one is double stage reciprocating air compressor. In the single stage reciprocating air compressor, the entire compression is carried out in a single cylinder. When piston starts moving downwards, pressure inside the cylinder falls below atmospheric pressure that opens suction valve. The pressure of the air in the cylinder rises during compression and at the end of compression the delivery valve opens and discharge the compressed air into the reservoir tank. Single stage air reciprocating compressor develop pressure up to only 7 bars. For higher pressure we need to move on to multi stage compression. This shows the working of single stage reciprocating air compressors. These three diagrams shows the suction stroke and this two diagram shows the compression stroke. In this first diagram we are seeing the piston is at the top dead center so that suction valve and the discharge valve both were closed. And in the next one the piston is moved from top dead center to the PDC. And the third diagram we can see that bottom dead center the piston reaches the bottom dead center so that suction valve opens. In this third one the compression stroke is happening. In this compression stroke the piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center. In this the piston reaches the top dead center and the discharge valve gets opened. So this is how the single stage compression gets working. The next type is double stage reciprocating air compressor. It consists of two cylinders, low pressure cylinder and high pressure cylinder. Piston, crankcase, piston rod, crank, crankshaft, oils, fin, etc. were employed in it. This shows the simple schematic diagram of double stage reciprocating air compressor. This one is the low pressure cylinder and this one is the high pressure cylinder. The both were interconnected with intercoolers. In this, you can see that both have the pistons and fin for cooling system and the oil were enabled for lubrication purposes. In this piston rod, both were connected in a single crankcase, crankshafts. Double stage reciprocating air compressors draws fresh air inside the low pressure cylinder through inlet suction filter. Then this air is compressed by piston. As the piston moves towards the top dead center, the air compression took place. The delivery valve opens and this compressed air from the low pressure cylinder is directed to enter inside the high pressure cylinder. In high pressure cylinder, the pressured air is further compressed to do higher pressure. The higher pressure air from high pressure cylinder is then delivered to reservoir through discharge valves. In this compressor, a pressure of air delivered is up to 13 bar. While in the single stage reciprocating air compressor, we get up to only 7 bars. The most beautiful advantages of reciprocating air compressors are they were simple in design, lower in initial cost, easy to install, higher efficiency. As the coin has two sides, it also has some disadvantages. 
that is it has number of moving parts yes as we all know it has piston crankshafts so the number of moving parts is heavy higher maintenance cost heavy foundation is required and it has some vibration problems and it also has a major disadvantages of it cannot run at full capacity